All right, guys. So I am going to um, just talk about some of the things. Look at this boy. Like, if I lay him. Like, there's just. Say, I know you can't wait till you get some hair. Different babies pose differently and they they do better in different positions and stuff like that. And when you have a new baby, you really have to learn what's their, their good, good sides, good angles and stuff like that for, you know, the camera, right? But, um, and what clothes look good on them, what colors. Guys, if you're not subscribed to this channel, go ahead and smash that subscribe button. Click the bell to be a part of the notification squad. There is three ways that you can support this channel by making sure that you always watch my videos, watch the ads when you can tolerate them. I know YouTube is doing the most with the ads, so it's so many of them now. So I know sometimes we just skip them, but you know, watching them is I think a plus. Um, also, um, um, what else? Oh, join in the chatterbox if you're over 18 and you want to do exclusive live streams and be a part of, you know, the sisterhood in there. And I really am loving doing like maybe themes once a month where we do the parties and the chats and all that stuff. So I'm, I'm thinking about doing that a lot more. Also, um, I love when we can have a full panel. I won't always do that, especially if I have a topic that I really need to stay in control of the, the conversation. Um, sometimes it's a little, you know, when you have the panel, sometimes it can be a little, eh, because if somebody talk, bring up something that you don't really want to get into, you have to be able to control that without being rude or, you know, whatever. Um, but otherwise it's, you know, it's really fun. But nevertheless, um, that's one way I do have merch. Um, so you'll see that running down a lot down a, under the description bar. Um, and yeah, those are, those are the three ways and sh always sharing the videos, comments are great. I know sometimes it's like, I, how many times can I tell you the same thing? And so I get that, you know, if you're just tired and just, just leave a heart or just give the video a thumbs up. Um, but I wanted to talk about a little bit of my vision for my collection for me as being an artist, um, and also just a YouTuber, etc., etc. So I'm going to start with the easiest part being a YouTuber. The biggest thing is just connecting with other like minded, you know, doll collectors. Um, um that's out there um because i'm more of a doll collector than anything and also this is like my my storefront for the babies that i you know i have and i sell originally i pretty much showed everybody else babies because that's i wasn't painting as much and i wasn't selling really um but here and there of my own work, I mostly just had other people, you know, from other artists um, work in my collection. My collection was predominantly other people's stuff and I would have like one or two of my own work. And even when I did have more, I used to would never show it, especially like my Reborns. It was always just my silicone babies and, you know, other stuff like that. And don't get me wrong, I'm not saying that I won't share other artists' work on my channel, but I've changed a little bit. And you guys is the ones that told me. Like, people kept emailing me and messaging me and saying, well, can we see the work that you actually do? Because it was like, I never showed my own work. And so... I thought about that and I said, you're right. And then also too, sometimes I try not to confuse people because I don't want people to be thinking like, oh, when they see my Claritella dolls, they'd be like, 
oh, like thinking I painted them and thinking I can paint like that because I can't. And so I, you know, I kind of keep that a little separate. Um, it's just like my blog. My blog is MissRendysmithBabies.com. And on that page, I'll never really mention um, sculptors' names, other artists. It's just all about me and my dolls and, you know, my blogging, my journey, my experience. Um, when I do Facebook, I will show both, you know, my personal babies and, you know, my babies, you know, sometime. Um, YouTube, I will do the same, you know, but not as much, um, as well as Instagram is mostly when you go down, it's just mostly all my work. Um, and I think it's just kind of, that's something that I just decided I want to do. Um, everybody to each his own, but you know, I realized that I may not be a master artist. I may not be spectacular at this or that. I have my strong points, my weak points, just like everybody else. I feel like my, um, I'm trying to build on the deeper skin tones, the darker skin tones, um, for the black babies. That's not my strong suit. So I like to buy those babies. <laughs> there are certain things that I don't feel as confident doing. So I buy those, um, I have babies in my private collection that I've bought from, you know, prototype artists and, um, you know, very high-end artists that I don't share. That's my personal preference. Um, but usually it's because I feel like I'm not there yet and I can't do it for myself. So I'm, for YouTube and everything else, I'm focusing on me and my brand, whatever that maybe like i hate saying that because it's kind of sound like you're trying to say oh girl what who you is you know type thing but i guess you kind of gotta own it in order to you know become who you are intended to be you gotta have you gotta value yourself if you want somebody else to value you you gotta know your worth and you know um when i let noah go i it, it like, there was a lot behind that. Um, it was um, not as heartbreaking as some people may think, but it was like, oh my gosh, I'm really, now I really don't have my favorite sculptor and artist work in my collection at all, right? Um, as far as, I mean, I have, sculpts that I painted myself but nothing that she totally completed um here like I've sold everything Nigel Noah like everything and I've had like tons of great dolls from her and it was like oh my gosh but then you know I said to myself you know what but I have my own work and I put a lot of effort in my babies so you know I just have to be glad with that. I'll have another Claire Teller baby, I'm sure. Um, but that was one of the things that's so selfish and so shallow thinking, right? Um, and I'm just being very transparent. That is one of the things like, I'm like, I can't sell my Noah because I won't own a completed Claire Teller doll. Like, you know, I know I, I, I say I don't, get into all that but that was my shallow moment i was just like uh-uh i'm not selling him because that's all i got you know what i mean like that is the goat you know and so i sold the goat <laughs> but um it's okay it 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 freed me up financially for you know other things other possibilities you know, I've been able to buy more kits and stuff like that. And so I'm okay with it. And he has a great mom. But that's my purpose is that I really just want to kind of focus on getting better at what I do so that I can, not just for you guys, but mostly for me so that I can afford the babies and be able to have multiple, you know, versions and skin tones and 
sculpts in my collection because I can paint them for myself and really love them. Because when I first started painting, I did not love my work. I was like, okay, okay, I did it. You know, I liked it. I was happy for where I was, but because of the type of dolls that I've collected over the time, it just wasn't gonna make it. I was not gonna be able to not collect and buy other dolls, you know, at that rate. It was just not acceptable <laughs> in my head, you know? Um, so, and you know, so that's, that's, that's where I'm at with that part. Um, as far as selling, um, I wanna be able to sell but I mostly want to be able to paint for myself. And I'm almost getting to the point where I'm kind of wanting to scale back. But I have so many kids here, like Reborns. I got to paint those babies and get them sold. Um, it's just too much sitting out there. And I have, just like everybody else, I have too much going on. I have, you know, home projects that I need to complete. You know, I have, like I said, five kids even though four of them is grown they're still in my pockets um a new grandbaby you know it's just and you know the what ifs and the come ups and all that and stuff so I still gotta maintain so just having that money that I put you know spent and invested I do have to get them you know recoup some of that money back so that's that and then you know the silicone baby kits are expensive all in itself and for those people that think that, yeah, just because you paint, you can afford to just have any kit and any doll you want. Absolutely not. When these kits are costing, you know, $2,600, $2,900, you know, $2,000, $1,500, that's a lot of freaking money. You know, that's a lot of money, even on just a blank sculpt. So I cannot just keep buying sculpts and just say, oh, I can paint it myself, so I'm saving myself the painting fee. No. It don't work like that. I have to sell some of those too because I cannot keep them all. I can't afford it. I don't make that kind of money to just do that. And for those are the people that, you know, apparently you see I have to sell to get. But for people that might think, oh, she got this very expensive doll, then that means she can't, you know, she probably, she must be got money. She got a rich baby daddy she got a sugar daddy or something going on or she really twerking for them dollars um no I just work hard and try to manage my collection to where I'm not like bringing in a whole bunch of junk and I don't mean to call stuff junk but you know what I mean like bringing in a whole bunch of babies just to have babies and no quality so and I, I see that a lot. Like, I'll see people that have, like, you know, 10, 12 below average babies. And when I say that, I mean, and I'm not judging. I'm just talking in general. When I'm like, wow, you spent all this money on these babies. And then they're like, I can't afford, I can't afford to get a, you know, Joanna K baby or a Romy baby or you know, a Claire baby or whatever babies and all this stuff. And I'm like, well, you could have, but you bought all of that. <laughs> you know what I mean? And I get it because, you know, some people like, I'm not selling all my babies just to have one expensive baby. I didn't get that at first. But then when I stopped chasing every single new baby that drops, that come out, I realized that I can be more fluid with my collection, my money, when I don't just dump everything into one baby, right? So I really understand that. So even if I have one really high, high quality baby and then the rest, you know, just nice babies, I'm good with that. So I understand that, but just to experience it at least once, I'd be like, no, I'ma just do a sweep and get what I want. But that's just me. Um, but yeah, you know, everybody have their way of doing things and, you know, it's whatever floats your boat. You know, like I said, some people are definitely not silicone mommies. They don't like them. They don't want them. 
And when they say they don't want them, they really don't want them. I know collectors that actually can afford silicone babies. They could buy the top silicone baby if they wanted to because the type of high-end reborns that they buy, they definitely can afford a silicone, but they just don't get it because they don't want it. And I get it because since I only had, think about it, I only had Phoebe as a silicone baby in my collection for, you know, and I had Phoebe and Noah for a while, but that's it. You know, I didn't have a lot of silicone babies, so I've really been like really into my reborns. But let me tell you guys, I really forgot how much I love reborns and how much fun it is to have the reborns. The reborns are like, I don't know. It's like something different about the reborns. You know, I guess I've had my butt up in the clouds for so long and like silicone, 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 silicone and all that and stuff. But really? I really enjoy interacting with my Reborns a lot. Like, I enjoy holding my silicone babies. I enjoy the way that... I love the way the medium look itself. Um, I think it's... I do think it's the ultimate realism when you can get them painted right. Um, and a really nice sculpt. But I think you are very more likely to get a realistic sculpt in, re, in Reborns, in vinyl and painting in vinyl so it makes it so much fun in different sizes and faces and expressions and i mean the possibilities of dressing them and posing them is endless and for me i am i'm a sharer so i love taking photos so for me full body silicones will never replace reborns for me and especially now that I've dipped back into being more reborns than silicone, I've just, I don't know. Like, I mean, these are my special little real ones here, but I love my vinyl babies. So, yeah, so I get it. Like, some people just don't want them. So, like I said, it's all about preference. And anyway, guys, I'm going to go, I, you know, I know my videos are always so super long now. Um... But I just enjoy being able to sit down and talk about the um, the hobby and stuff like that. My mom came over the other day and she said she picked up one of my babies and she was like dusting the eyes. And she was like, see, if you was at my house, you wouldn't have dusty eyes. You wouldn't have dusty ears because I dust my baby eyes. I keep their eyes clean. I keep their ears clean. I keep them dressed. I'm like... Okay, bro. Let let me find out you finna be a bigger collector than me. She was over here hard trying to get one of my babies um the other day, and I was like, no, ma'am, no, ma'am. I mean, if it was the one time I wanted to just say get out my house to my mama, that was the day. But I didn't say I, you know, I know better, you know, cause listen, that floor is very hard, and I did not want to hit it when she, you know, but. Girl, if you don't stop trying to pick up my babies, she's like, oh, yeah, I could take this one home. I was like, she was just like picking them all up. I'm like, uh-uh, you're not. She was like, oh, I'm getting you one day. I know I'm getting you one day. Just like um, one of my um, collective friends was like, oh, yeah, I already know he coming to me. When um when you get tired, he coming to me. My mom is starting to do that now. She's like, oh, yeah, I'm going to get that one. <sighs> but anyway, talk to you guys later. Again, you know, sorry for the very long chat, but hopefully some of you guys are just busy going to work and you just need something to listen to and, you know, this works for you. So I'll see you guys later. Bye-bye.